Hello awesome ones. I've got a question for you or a little thought to ponder today. What if I told you that three years ago I was an absolute tech phobe? The thought of teching in my business freaked me out. I know, right? And here I am teaching people how to run online courses, running online courses, doing video, like all of the stuff and the things that is techy in a business. I can even build a landing page. Whoa, I know, right? Pretty cool. It wasn't always that way. <laughs> it really wasn't. The thought of teching in my last business would bring up all this anxiety, my stomach would churn, I would sweat, I would perturbate like nobody's business. And nine times out of 10, in that first 12 months of having to tech, I would cry, honestly. And I was running a business with a highly techy tech person and I would still get that stressed and that upset and worried. So if you're a tech phobe, guess what? There is hope for you. If I can tech, you can tech too. So a couple of things when you're teching with online courses and especially, especially your first online course, keep it simple. There are so many really easy ways to build an online course and to run it and to get it out there. There's no excuse now, even if you are the world's biggest tech phobe and even last year, like launching my first online course in, in this business I do now, I was still a little bit tech stressed, so it's okay, right? But here's the thing, you don't need all the fancy bells and whistles and all the fancy things and all of the blah, 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 blah to get online with your first course. Here's what you need. You need Zoom. You need a Facebook group. You might have something like MailChimp or ActiveCampaign so you can email people and collect their emails. And if you want to step it up a little, you might have a learning platform like Thinkific. Boom, done. All you need, right? It's actually that simple. So set up the Facebook group for your course. There you go. Maybe get somebody, if you're not quite up for it yet, to make a little banner for you in Campbell with the course name. Done. Sweet. You can start adding people in there. I would suggest you get their email first. So that's why you would need MailChimp or ActiveCampaign. So people can sign up for your newsletter and you've got a nice little space where you can store everyone's emails in that virtual space we call the interwebs. Sign up for Zoom. You can get the $15 paid one, which means your calls can go as long as they need to. Well, you can use the free one. The thing is with the free one, you only have 45 minutes before it cuts out. And Zoom is so simple to use. I think pretty much everyone I know Zooms now because you can record a video, get audio, done. Now you can be all fancy and you can get, get someone to edit the video or you can just upload the video after your training call into your Facebook group, done. They can watch it. You can like get into the thing and make sure nobody else can embed it anywhere, but ultimately that doesn't matter. These days people can film off a screen as easy as that. So it's really that simple. And then you can get a free Thinkific platform and just upload the video into there. So there's no excuse. If the tech is the thing that is holding you back, there's actually no excuse because it's really, really easy. But having said that, I also know how stressful tech can be when you've never teched before. So, to take the stress out of your tech, and because I do actually remember what it's like to be the tech phobe, I've just created a nice, a nice simple little tech vibes guide to running an online course. And so you can download the tech phobe, tech vibe, did I say what? Tech phobes guide to running an online course. So it's going to have your Facebook, your Zoom, some little tips around active campaign or MailChimp. Um, I hear everyone's moving to active campaign. You know, I'm no expert on those. And then maybe some little stuff on Thinkific might be in there as well. But just some really simple steps to get you started so then you can start running your first 
online course because there won't be any excuse because the tech will be good to go. And seriously, if you get stuck, you know, you can always hit me up for some questions as well. And if you're still stuck, I know some really, really good tech people that will definitely be able to help you out. So grab the Tech Phobes Guide to Running Online Courses. Hit me up if you need any more help. But please, we need your message out there in the world. You've got something really, really important to share. And if tech is the thing that's stopping you from reaching out and working with one to many as opposed to the one to the one to one that I imagine you're doing now, it doesn't need to. I am living proof that it really, really doesn't need to. So get onto it, get your message out there. And as always, here's to your business success.